morning guys welcome to today today is an amazing crazy day in the day by day family why is it crazy I don't know because all the ponies <laughs> learned manners <laughs> she's still dreaming <laughs> she's still all in the, bed she's still dreaming no all the ponies um basically manners because yeah Gabby came down and she beat us to the barn and nobody Every gets food day. nobody gets food until they be mannerful mannerful yeah because they all try to attack you when you come in there they They're don't like, oh they do they're like, oh, give me the food, especially Gracie. Gracie tries to get the food. Yeah, all they do is go forward and be like, hey. No, 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 no. They stick their nose in the feed pan. So and here's they the thing. away from you, so they have to learn. Yeah, so here's the thing. I'm a gentle, loving mom, and if they come forward a little bit, it never advances past that. They never go further than that. <laughs> Everybody in the world has different opinions of the exact same experience. I believe in love and friendship and all coexisting together. Gabby believes in you do it my way or you die. Yes. <laughs> oh, goodness. But like I said in yesterday's video, everybody... Get an apple. <laughs> like I said in yesterday's video, the world needs all different kinds of people. Gracie heard it. Ah, She's like, I want an apple. Did she have an apple? Uh-huh. Gabby, is that your breakfast? Apples with dip? Caramel dip? No, just the dip. So today is super crazy because we have lessons. Gabby woke up this morning and said, wow, we have like a busy life. I'm like, yeah, we have a busy life. Currently she's riding four times a week. No, she rides three times a week. And after Christmas, I might bump it to four. Do you think you could do four times a week? We have three horses that need to be ridden. Three, you guys. And we need somebody to ride them. Are you gonna ride all of our horses? <laughs> she is. Are you gonna ride some horses? Who are you gonna ride? Storm and, oh, yeah. and Stella. Yeah, so yeah, we got two people to ride our horses. But anyway, that's what's gonna happen today, so we need to get done a lot of things before we can get to the barn, so let's do it. Daily Pony Parade, you guys. She only runs as fast as she can get to the food. And then she runs to her best friend. He's a this is our bunny test. Have you been eating bunnies? Tell me the truth. We can tell if you've been eating. He's been eating something. Oh. Something big is oh, in that cut belly. Boy. And he's fat. Look at his cheeks. He's fat. Do you have a bunny in those cheeks? He's like, no, but I have chipmunks in them. Yeah, chipmunk monk cheeks. Sweater. Hey, I wonder if that's where that expression came from. Chipmunk chip monk cheeks. If that door closed and the one to go outside closed, I feel like and block this area off and they just go walking around. No way, because horses get hurt no matter what. And there's a lot of stuff in here to get hurt on. Like the door handles, the ribbons, the cross ties, you name it, they the could get hurt. Would get hurt. I All right. Let's go up. She's holding on to my sweater. Okay. Let's go up to the house and announce today's shout out winners. Yesterday, someone made us these beautiful Christmas decorations to hang up outside of our house. Aren't they beautiful? There are two of these and a gorgeous wreath. Aren't they so nice? I love them. I also bought this for Fiona. I bought this for our coach for Christmas. I'll show it to you guys once I get it inside. <laughs> Who barfed on your foot? Ruby. <laughs> Ruby, get off the rug. She barfed again over there. Guess he gets to clean it up. Whose dog is she? Dad. <laughs> so this is what I bought for Fiona. It is a LED area light 4000 lumens. 
It is, I don't even understand what any of that means because I'm not technical. It comes with this big <laughs> tripod. I'm not technical. It comes with this big uh, tripod. It's shatter resistant, <laughs> quick release, easy to attach and detach. So I bought it for her to put outside her paddocks because her horses are kind of in the woods, her paddock, and she does not have any lights there, but she does have an electrical outlet. So I wanted to gift her with the gift of light so she can stay safe this winter while she's feeding her horses because sometimes she doesn't get home, um, it gets dark in Canada at 5 p.m. So sometimes she doesn't get done teaching lessons until 7 or 7.30. So I wanted her to always be safe when she's feeding her uh, horses. So hopefully this will work for her. I'm going to wrap it up and give it to her this week or next week, I guess, is our last lesson before Christmas next Thursday. So. No. We have Brandon all Christmas long. Yeah, we have Brandon. Brandon will never ab abort us. Uh, Brandon will never abandon us. Uh, another shipment from Lemieux arrived today, which thankfully, oops, thankfully it arrived because it was the last little bit of our Christmas shopping that we were waiting for. We were waiting for Gabby's stuff to come in. Everything came in for Sophie from Lemieux and none of Gabby's stuff came in. So, well, some of it, but anyway, this is the final part of Gabby's Lemieux. Christmas is saved, you guys. Some of you guys might know that Gabby bought herself with her own money AirPods, actual real AirPods. Sophie and I have the fake ones because we're too cheap. I'm too cheap. Are you too cheap? Yeah, like I don't even like them. Been great. She's had them for a couple of months. She has sort of misplaced them a couple of times. It's oh been no, every night. Every night. Like it's been kind of scary. Put but this this yeah, they should put a tracker on the case. So this is actually the very <laughs> Gabby's in the kitchen freaking out. Basically, this is the first time she's ever actually lost the case. She has the AirPods, but she lost the case. And today I said, it's been, this is the second day. I said we would all help her find them. We're all going to do a search together and help her find them. Um, we don't know where she lost them. We have no idea. But we're all going to help her because it's important. They are the thing that matters to Gabby most. Where did you have them last? I don't know. Did you have them in the house, in the car? I brought them inside, but then I don't know where they are. And then you lost them inside? Yes. All right. So uh, where, what room were you in at least? Do you have any idea what room you think you were in? I don't know. All right. Well, let's start from everywhere. Let's everywhere. start from the front door and look for them. Come on. Let's go. She thinks she okay. knows everything. Come in. So let's come in the living room. Um, Whoa. You're definitely talking in that She stands voice. right here. takes off her boots. I found it. No, that's a fake one. Those are fake ones. So let's start here. Start at the front door and look in every single direction. Look down, around. <laughs> You're talking in that voice. I can't ever keep anything private from you. You're talking in that voice. Now get your uh, AirPods and put them in there and charge them up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> they were in your purse last. So. No, they were not in my purse last. Well, I have a phone to help track them. Because they have trackers. Oh, guys, well, I never seen her AirPods. So now she lost her AirPods, but the truth be told, last night when I was out shopping with Sam, I found her AirPods as well. I found them in the door of my car seat. I found them in the car seat, of, in the door of the driver, of the passenger's seat. Let's see, does it work? My phone, AirPods. All right, follow the phone. Just don't look at that, because that says... Okay. She's got it pulled up here. There's my phone and there's my earphones. All right, let's start walking. Let's find them. They're close by. Direction. Okay. Just, I don't know where they are. Just keep walking and we'll see. In your purse? I don't know. My phone and AirPods are far away from each other. All right, well, let's walk so we can see if it gets closer. You're talking in that voice again. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, what? Are we closer now? Two minutes. We're two minutes away? Well, there's my purse. Oh, my <laughs> those are more fake ones. <laughs> those are mine. <laughs> yeah, those are yours. Hold on. Oh, no. Where? Ow, ow, ow. There's something really prickly in here. <laughs> what do you say, Gabby, for rescuing all your stuff? THX, mom. You're welcome, daughter. You're welcome. And Sophie, we have found it together.
Let that be a lesson to you guys. Be more responsible with your AirPods and Apple. Please make them bigger and easier to no, track. No, make the old AirPods. I don't like the AirPod Pros. They look ugly. Um, make, make the, the case old cases um, trackable. trackable. Okay, before we go, I wanted to say, well done, Sarah Ralph. Will is 15 and Gracie is 9. You got it. Got it. Also, Nicola Noble, Willow is 15. She sure is. Um, also, Laura Grace says, probably a long shot, but I think Willow is 15 and she sure is. KJ's Barnyard, Willow is 15. Mm-hmm. And, um... Sarah Ralph? I already did her. Oh, Carol Ann Ryan says that I hope Sophie gets better. Sending a virtual hug, Sophie. I think Willow is about 15 or 16 years old and Gracie is nine. I do believe. Crossing fingers. Yeah, you got it. And my imagination world said 15 and nine. So there's a lot of you guys out there that actually did know that and some of you guys did not. <laughs> I thought ever, thought that was an easy one, but congratulations to you guys who, are, who Gracie won. Gracie was a hard one. We've Gracie. never made a video about all of our horses until their age. Like, yeah, her she's age. never really been, her age has never really been in a video, so that was awesome. So our trivia question for tomorrow, if you want to win a shout out, is How long has Gabby been riding? Um, if you know what age she started riding lessons, then that will do. It's kind of a tricky one. We have talked about it a lot of times. We did some riding stories on our channel. If you want to go back and look at that, I don't want to know when's the first time Gabby sat on a horse and what made us want to get her a horse and what made us put her in lessons. I want to know how old she was when she started lessons. And Sophie was actually the same age. No, so hopefully not that how will help. old, how long I have been riding. Okay, for. so how many years has Gabby been riding? Okay, that is the question for tomorrow. I hope some of you guys get it. Good luck. So we are already back from where we went. Um, somebody on Facebook was selling GoPro. It's called on the bed. An actual GoPro, not the cheap ones that Sam always buys. Mom, it comes with that. Yeah, it comes with a bunch of stuff. Don't lose any of it. But anyways, so we bought it. It was $150. And it is worth it for us. So Gabby wants to ride in it. She's going to ride Finn in tonight's lesson. And Sophie's going to ride... Storm. Storm. And hopefully you guys will have seen Sophie's lesson, her first lesson from this week already. Um, it should be up by now. And um, see mm -hmm. how, what incredible things happened in her lesson. Like we all had crazy lessons this week. <laughs> Wants to jump, Sophie says. Well, well, they get their horses ready. I wanted to take a minute to talk to you guys about what is happening with Gabby's new horse. So basically, Gabby's new horse is still a thing. She is still going to get another horse. It is terrible in Canada right now. Freezing cold. Awful to be horse shopping, trying horses. We've had that problem before. We're still looking. In the meantime, she is going to... She's going to be riding Finn. She's going to be training Finn, getting Finn jumping fit, Sophie fit, beginner fit. He's, she's going to be working with him. And things are changing and things are working along. Things are working out great. And I just feel like this is a natural way that our family is meant to go right now. I know a lot of you guys are going to be confused because Sophie is Finn's owner and Gabby is Storm's owner. And it's just really confusing and hard to, to understand. And even for us it's awkward it's awkward as heck you saw they went into the field to get their horses and they got their own horses even though each other is, is riding each other's horse so they still have a love for their horse they still have a bond a huge bond with their horse but for now gabby's going to be riding finn and sophie's going to be riding storm and gabby's going to be riding johnny as long as he's not sold he might get sold um this weekend i'm praying that he doesn't but um, that is where we are right now, and I just wanted to update you guys. I get a lot of questions about it all the time. Um, just know that um, life, God has a plan for everybody, and this is just the way it is rolling for us, and we're just going to roll with it, and it's been working out great. Hi. Did you give him hay? So what's what's broken on his? On his can you tie it? Can you tie it? Oh. Yeah, Storm, you broke your blanket. How in the heck did you do that? We need to fix it. It is a cold night. Yeah, look at how handsome he's looking. My helmet's so did you... right now because the padding fell out. That's why my helmet sits forward after he trips. But she has the padding. 
Um, wait, don't you have to turn it so yeah. that it's down a little? This is the ones. I know, but shouldn't it go down a little? A little? Yeah, Finn's like, is it food? Is it food? Just give me food. What do you guys think? Do you think Finn is going to be good today? Or do you think he's going to be oh, the yeah, old Finn? The old Finn or the new Finn? Okay, so Sophie and I are here in front of our best friend, the heater. <laughs> we suck. So we're going to be here for like two hours. Gabby has a lesson for an hour and then Sophie has a lesson for an hour. And we know it is going to be cold as heck. So we're not dumb. Like We know we're... I wish you guys that have never been in the cold could come here. You would probably die. That's how cold it is. One thing we are not doing with Storm and with our horses is getting rid of them. We are not getting rid of Storm. Right, Sophie? Why does everybody think that? Nobody thinks it. Well, Everyone would buy him. <laughs> a lot of people have asked to buy him. Like even in real life. But we are keeping him. He is a part of our family. And he's, he's ours. And he's not just bonded with Gabby, right? Bonds with everyone. He's bonded with everybody. He and loves he Gabby Best. Him, so I love that. Yeah, he loves Gabby Best, but he, he knows that we're his people. Shorter. So, professional rider Gabby, she's got the app on her phone, and she's got her thing on. Is it the right angle? <laughs> we think so. We don't know. What is I always say Miss down the most. Small, so I like... love it, though. Good, good purchase today. We got Molly. She's Hi. in Gabby's lesson. You guys remember beautiful Molly? And uh, who are you riding, Molly? Spitty. Spitty. Holy cow, you're gonna freeze. I know, I have my coat. She puts her coat on over top of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's not like me. <laughs> Molly! <laughs> she just put the cross ties under her under her vest. Gabby, you I should be wearing a vest. Do you wanna be in our video? You wanna be in our video? Okay, I'll come to you again after. Oh, no. Okay, so also in the lesson is this beautiful boy all by himself. No, he has a rider. Who's riding him? Ah, don't eat me, Denver. This is Tori. Tori is Denver's rider today. She's not worried because she already knows that he uh, learned to pick up his feet after Tuesday's lesson with me. Right? Right, Denver? He's, he's got energy today. When I pulled him out of the field the other day, I could tell that he didn't have energy. And today, he's got energy. I gave him an apple. I gave him an apple. So you have lots of energy. Don't buck her off. I want a nice helmet, but I can't get one because you can't get nice helmets in toddler size. So Molly is about to turn 13 and she is four feet, eight inches, right? Oh, uh, like four foot 10. Oh, four foot 10. She's four foot 10. And then is there's right Gabby. Now, huh? Molly is exactly huh? a month older than Gabby. And here's Gabby over here, five feet, five. five yeah. Five. Mm -hmm. Are you on your tippy toes? No. I think you're on your tippy toes. No, I was moving like that. <laughs> like. No. Okay, so the last rider in Gabby's group is Echo. You guys thought it was Storm, right? It's not. It's Echo. Echo. And Chloe is riding him. You guys remember Chloe? She's in there watching the other lesson. Ben, you be looking cute in purple. <laughs> Let's see the camera, Sam, so we can watch the GoPro. We can see the whole angle of the GoPro on Gabby's phone. That's cool. Finn's like, let's, let's keep get going. To work. Yeah. Now that is what I call a GoPro. Look, we can watch the whole lesson. There's Finn. Mom was going there. Oh wait, that was not Finn. That was Denver. Wait. Oh yeah, that's Finn. Denver's Finn in Denver. front of Finn. Yeah, it's so confusing. There's a. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.